Hi, I'm Cecilia Harris with Textiles West, and I'm glad you could join me today as we talk a little bit about PDF patterns. PDF patterns are great because they are accessible to you at any time that you have a printer and a computer. You can print them off at home, tape them together, and you're all set to go. I'm going to show you how to do that, and I really like them. But do know that there is some work involved, uh, and a lot of the PDF patterns are also available as a, a hard copy, and you can get that. Sometimes those hard copies um, have some advantages in that they are multi-sized, whereas some PDFs are not. So you just have to determine what you are comfortable with and what you want to go with. But it's, it's not a hard thing. It's just a little bit of time and effort to put it together and be as precise as you can. So first, I'm going to talk about how you get them printed off, because it's very important that they print off accurately. And your printer sometimes can do some strange things if you're not careful. Most companies that you purchase a PDF pattern from you will send you a link. And then you'll, you'll want to take that link and open it up. And your computer will want to open it in your browser. And it's not a good idea to print from your, what has opened up in your browser. What you want to do is download it, and then open it from the download in Adobe Acrobat. Or if you're on a Mac, you can use Preview. You want to open it in one of those programs, because it will keep, more likely keep the measurements correct. Most of them come uh, with a picture on the front page that tells you exactly what it looks like. And this is just one company. They'll all be a little bit different. And then often you'll have the finished measurements of the pattern. So this is not the measurement of your body, but what the finished measurement would be of the pattern. And that is helpful for you. You know how much ease is in the garment. And we'll talk more about that probably in another video. You have a layout, often, of the pattern pieces that you're going to be cutting out. Sometimes there's a photograph there. Sometimes it'll tell you how to put them together. This is a, a good way. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. But most of these have little guide marks at the sides and the top and bottom. And that is what shows you how they go together. And you are able to double check yourself on several different um, several different places. This is the really important thing. This is a test square. Now, every PDF pattern might be a little bit different, but somewhere there is a test square that you need to print just that page initially. And in your program, you can choose, even though there might be page 1 through 40, page 5 may be the page that has this test square. And you can choose to have your um, printer print just that page. Then you print it, and you measure it. The most important thing to do is to make sure that it, in your printer dialog box, it does not say fit to page. If fit to page is checked, then the printer is going to try to take this information and get it on the page in a certain way and probably will distort it. So you want it to just print at a 100%. You're just going to print exactly what's in the file, not fit to page. So then you measure this square. And if it measures accurately to what they say, this particular one says 3 and 15 sixteenths. Then you know you're good to go. And you can print all of the rest of the pattern. And it should be accurate, as accurate as if you were to buy the paper pattern. OK? Some of them also show, this is a little hard to see, but um, it shows what is on each and every page. I don't find that I look at that very often, but it might be useful to you. OK, I want to show you an example of what happens if you do open it in your browser. All right, you see that there's the 1B section here. And over here, there's a section that's 1A. And part of this diamond is cut off. Um, you can see at the bottom, what's going to happen is you'll have a second page that would go and complete that diamond. Well, over here, you can't see the whole thing. And then sometimes when you print them, you can't see anything at all. So you don't have anything to, to um, butt up against. Also, when these pages are fed through your printer, it's possible that they could you know, get a little wonky just a little bit as they go through the printer. And if you're trying to use the side of a 
piece of paper as a straight line, it may not have printed perfectly against that straight line. So there are a lot of reasons that I think this is not a good way to go about it. If you open it in a program like Adobe Acrobat or Preview, you'll see a bounding box all the way around like this, okay? That's what I think you want to do. Also, some patterns will tell you, in addition to that box um, that you measured to see if it was accurate, it might also tell you how big this box is supposed to be. And uh, I was cutting something out the other day and thought I had done it correctly, but the pattern company said that this box was supposed to be six and a half by nine and a half, and mine was bigger. So you can, and it doesn't have to be much bigger. If it was even an eighth of an inch off all the way around, then your garment is going to be getting, you know, maybe an inch bigger, maybe bigger than that. So it, you just want to start with it as accurate as possible.